Hey guys, welcome back to the Art of Craftsmanship. My name's Dustin, and today you can see we are not in the shop. We're out, and we're gonna go to a couple different hardware stores, and I wanna see if I can find a good quality axe handle. When you're out looking at your big box hardware stores, you're looking for three different things. You wanna look for grain orientation, so you want your grain to run the same direction, parallel with the eye of the axe. Uh, we're looking for lack of grain run out, that means we want to have the grain running the whole length of the handle. And then the third thing you want to look for is that your kerf is cut straight with the axe, the top of the axe head, so that way you can get your wedge in nice and straight. Now we'll go to a couple of different stores and see if we can find anything quality. All right. I actually have a selection here, which is good. $20. That's about $10 more than they used to be. That's all right. So that has horrible grain run out. This one looks really good. Green one out in about 45 degree angle. That's not too bad. Let's put some of the good ones aside. Oh, that one's real straight. That one's really good. That one looks pretty good. Mediocre. That one's tight green. Oh, that one looks pretty good too. It's actually really good grain orientation is really straight, so everything's running parallel. Although these don't have any width sideways, which I don't really like. I like when they have some palm swell here. Nice cut down the middle. This one is really tight grain. Nice and straight. No grain run out. Pretty even. I'm actually really impressed um, with the selection here. So out of the, I would say, seven handles that they have that are single bit, which is what I'm looking for, four of them are very much acceptable and really good quality um, axe handles. These two look really good. Nice straight grain. This one's just slightly off. This one's almost exactly straight up and down. Both of those are completely acceptable. And they both have little to no grain run out. This one you can see is nice and straight down the middle. This one's just slightly off, but that's okay. But this one's really straight, which is good. So I get almost exactly the same amount of wood on both sides. And they come with a, a popular wedge and some metal step wedges, which are fine. I don't typically use those, but uh, you know, it's good to have them just in case. All right, well, I'm really happy with this one, so we're going to go ahead and buy this one. We'll head to the next store and see if we can find at least one good quality one from each store. Now, so far, so good. The blue store, I was really happy with their selection. Almost all of their axe handles were good quality. Now we're at the orange store. Last time I was here, it was little to no selection, so my hopes aren't high. But we'll head inside and see what they have. Lots of sledgehammer handles in the axe handle slot. Let's see if maybe the axe handles are in the sledgehammer slot. These are all sledgehammer handles. It's not looking good, folks. Hopefully at your store you don't have zero axe handles. Um, there are axes here, but just no axe handles. So for $37, you could buy an axe. That's not to say that all of the orange stores aren't gonna have axe handles. They have a spot here for it, same price as the blue store, but they're completely out. Now, last time I was here was probably about a month ago and they were out then, looked about the same way. So, nothing here. Well, I've moved them around, so maybe now they'll be able to fill it in. This is the red store, we'll call it. Unfortunately, we didn't have any luck at the orange store, which is kind of what I thought might happen. Um, we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt that they just were not, they were out of stock completely of all axe handles, doubles or singles. So on to the third store. We'll go in, we'll check this one out, see what we can find. One double bit, fixed spade fork, sledge, maul, and axe handle replacement. So we got one double bit axe with really bad grain orientation. This one has a combination of heartwood and sapwood, which is not horrible. Ideally, you'd kind of want to get one or the other, but it's okay. But you can see the grain orientation is completely perpendicular to the eye, which we do not want. There's not even a spot for this up here. I don't know where this is supposed to go. I'm going to put it right here. Link handles are pretty good. That's what that is, usually. So we have two boys' axes. Let's see what we got. So here you can see this one has really, really bad grain run out, meaning all the grain is going diagonal all the way across the handle. So it looks pretty, make a nice wall hanger with heartwood and sapwood, but not good for a user. 
Now this one has grain orientation is this way, which is pretty good, a little bit less than 45, which is okay, that's acceptable. Run out is good, you can see we've got heartwood and sapwood, which again is not horrible. Um, that runs all the way though, so we know we have the right grain all the way up. And our kerf is cut pretty much straight down the middle. And they don't have any full-size axe handles here, just a couple boys axes and one of the double bits, but I like that one, so this one is definitely an acceptable axe handle. So let's head back to the shop and we'll hang one of the axes. I have my full size and my boys axe, but today we're gonna go ahead and hang an axe on the full size single bit handle. I'm gonna do this in time lapse, and if you wanna see the whole process, you can check out our video called Hang That Axe, 10 Essential Steps to Rehandling an Old Axe Head. First thing I'm gonna do is scrape off all the varnish. It comes with varnish on it, that's just to protect it from people's hands touching it and throughout the whole manufacturing process and shipping process. I scrape all that off, get down to raw wood. And I make a few adjustments to the shape of the palm swell to fit my liking, as well as the handle at the top right below the eye, just thinning it out a little bit to make it a little bit more comfortable in the hand. Next thing I'm going to start shaping the eye and shaping the top of the handle to fit the eye of the axe head. Now, this axe head I made sure to chamfer the bottom of the eye so it fit on nice and tight without cutting into the axe handle. So after shaping the eye a bit, I just keep testing it back and forth to make sure that it fits really nicely and it also stays really straight because I want to make sure the cutting edge stays straight with the handle. And after I have everything on, seated down all the way, just do a little bit of finish sanding to get rid of some of the tool marks around the top of the handle where it goes into the eye of the axe. And then I cut a wedge. Now, this is a wedge that's a black walnut wedge from Whiskey River Trading Company, and I've kind of cut it to shape and grind it to shape and shape it so that way I know I can get it to fit into the handle as far as possible inside the eye. Now I want it to sit down about three quarters, two thirds to three quarters of the way down. Once I get it shaped and fit, I make a couple markings on it to make sure I can kind of see where it is so I know it's going in deep enough. And then I add a little Type Bond 3 wood glue, some waterproof wood glue inside and start setting the wedge in. Now I start, I start it with it going in normal and then uh, in the vise clamped in so I can see it going in so I know it's going in as straight as possible. Then once I have it started, then I'll flip it over and put the wedge on a heavy piece of something. I have a big round of steel that I put on the ground and I hit the back of the handle at the palm swell to see it as far as possible. And I was really happy this one made it most of the way in. And once I'm done that, I cut off the excess, leaving it proud to make sure I have a lot that mechanical hold at the top. Sand off the top of the uh, the wedge and clean it up, chamfer a little bit, shape the end of the handle, and then oil it up. And there we go. All right, guys, well, the winner today turned out to be Lowe's. Uh, they did have a good quality axe handle. They had a whole bunch to select from, and almost all of them were really good quality. So they had the three things I was looking for, which was the grain orientation, the lack of grain run out, and then the kerf was cut straight. So all those things, most of those handles were actually really good. Went to Home Depot, they didn't have anything in stock. And then when I went to Ace, they had a couple things in stock. And it turns out that the handle that I got from Ace was from the same company that made the handles that Lowe's was selling. So I was really happy with the quality of those handles. So you can find good quality axe handles at big box stores if you know what you're looking for and if you're not super specific about your length and your size and your shape. Now, if you do want to find something that's a little bit more custom, you can always reach out to smaller businesses such as Whiskey River Trading Company. Now, Brandon Roos from Whiskey River is going to look over all the axe handles before they leave Whiskey River so you know you're getting an axe handle that has all those qualities that you want in a good axe and from someone who knows how to use axes. I have a 30C here, which is a high premium quality axe handle, and this one has perfect grain orientation, perfect run out and a perfect kerf as well as the B grade. Now this is a B grade handle so it quote unquote is not the highest quality as the other ones but it again perfect kerf, no grain run out, the grain orientation is perfect as well. So you know you're going to get a quality piece of wood from Brandon at Whiskey River Trading Company because he's going to look over all of them. And you can also find discount code. Brandon supports us at the Art of Craftsmanship, so we want to support him as well. So if you're looking to buy a good quality axe handle, you can find a link to our discount code and to Whiskey River in the description below. Now don't forget to like and subscribe. That makes a big difference for the channel. You guys can also follow us on Instagram, and you can support us further on patreon.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.